Good morning, everyone. Today's Sunday, July 19, 2020. Look at all, day 28. Number 12.04. I am just signing and uploading the vlog from yesterday, so by the time you're watching this video, yesterday's vlog should be up. Please be sure to go check it out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So, it was like 8 o'clock last night. Right now it's 9.02 a.m. It was 8 o'clock. 8 p.m. last night. And the sun looked like it was still up. I mean, it looked like it was 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, right now I'm just having some nachos and queso blanco dip with a little salsa. And I pulled out some chicken to thaw. It's just one chicken breast that I have left. Um, there's quite a few things that I could make. I could probably make some chicken uh, Alfredo or whatever, you know, because I have the Alfredo sauce, so I might do that. And that's the only boneless chicken that I have left. I might do that, but I also have like a bunch of like bone in chicken with like, um, it's like a whole cut up chicken. I have two of those. And I have uh, chicken drumsticks. Um, I'm not too sure. And I also have like beef hot dogs. I'm not too sure what all to do with all that stuff too. Because eventually I'm going to have to make it. And then I have some ground beef. Um, I was trying to figure out what to do with that. It's just like I think probably just a pound or so of ground beef. I was thinking about maybe I could make... I could either do... <laughs> There's so many options. I could do like um, um, like a burritos, or I could make um, hamburger helper too with that. Um, but it's like really poor planning because like it's like how much plant food do I actually plan on eating? Plus, I have some ramen noodles as well. Um, <clears throat> And so, like, um, it's, like, poor planning because it's, like, when do I plan on actually eating all this food? <laughs> this morning I was hoping I didn't have any nachos because I had, I have been having this queso blanco dip. But I didn't know what to do with it. So, and, yeah, um, so I was kind of hoping I didn't have any nacho chips so I wouldn't have to eat it and I could just throw it away. But no, I had a whole fresh bag of nacho chips. So like, <clears throat> when I got sick, um, I really couldn't exercise anymore. I literally uh, was just in constant panic mode. Um, and But now I'm back to being able to exercise. Um, and I basically, I got depressed, so I stopped dancing, um, <laughs> at all. <laughs> so, like, I, um, quit cold turkey, and, um, yeah. So that probably added to my weight problems, right? Um, and then also, um, because I couldn't sweat, like, I didn't know what was wrong with me, so I didn't want to, like, do anything to my body, like, at all. Like, anything, like, physically, um, you know, um, to my body. Because, like, I felt like it was really fragile, and I felt like it was just going to be, like, just one small little thing, and it, I was just going to break into tiny little pieces. Um, but now that, like, my fever is gone, too, um, I've been dancing a little bit more and just doing a lot more physical activity, um, in, all together. So, I've been sweating a lot and, um, yeah, I just thought I would share that with you and I, I stink. I smell like a particular type of um, sweat, uh, B.O., <laughs> um, and I'm waiting to actually, I need to actually go and take a shower, but I don't want to. I still feel, like, kind of feverish, so, um, I'm still, that's the reason why I'm not really, um, doing that quite as often, but, like, 
Like, um... Yeah. I need to, though. Like, I was about to, because it's, like, just an instinct of mine, like, to just get in the shower all the time. Um, but then I decided not to, because I don't want to catch anything. Um, on top of what I already have. And so, yeah. I'm just going to wait until I stink. Like, I just want to see, like, how bad it will get. It's too date. It's never really gotten that bad. Um, I've tried this before, and it just, it never really gets that bad. I don't know. I don't work much. I don't go outside much, so, um, there isn't anything that would really, like, I don't eat anything that would be, like, particularly funky stinking that would cause my stink to be, like, <laughs> my, um, my sweat to be, like, crazy funky. I really am in a rush to make the chicken corn soup, but I think I'm just going to make the chicken breast today. Um... Because I don't know if I'm really going to eat that much chicken corn soup anyways. I mean, even one chicken breast is going to be, like, too much. Um, and I could just, I could have made, like, chicken parmesan with it, too. Because it's a lot of chicken. But I'm more awake, though. I don't know why. Usually I'm really, really sleepy and tired during the vlog. Like, all the time. But I'm awake. But it's better. And also, I think, like, you should always, like, exercise, even if your muscles are sore, because I think, like, if you have sore muscles and you work out on top of that, I think it's going to make the soreness better. I'm out of dip, so I'm just eating it plain now. Yeah, I don't know what is the deal, but I've got, like, fruit flies, and I just barely hit that one on the head and it died. Now two more have come. I thought there was only one. This is my second chip without dip. Oh my god. Crazy. It's on 84% and it was just on 19% and it didn't even say positive. You can eat little tiny bug. I never let them feast. Don't want to get too friendly with them in case they try to like get their family. One of the ways to get rid of them is just starving them or overfeeding them. They'll just die from being too fat or full, I mean, or starving them, which means like not doing what I just showed you ever, never even sh have any indication of food anywhere. But if it's one, it's okay. I need to stretch a lot. There's a part on my middle back, I would say, like, right where, you know, I want to say my lumbar begins. Yeah. There's, like, this muscle that is, like, kind of hurting but it, it's just a sign that like <clears throat> everything's getting better because there's nothing else that's actually hurting anymore and like aside from all this dancing I need to be stretching more because like you can't just go straight back into doing like that much of like physical activity um all of a sudden you have to do it like after doing like well you have to condition your body so I have to like stretch myself I must have eaten those french fries the other night. I completely can't remember because that was like a couple of nights ago and I've been like pretty like out of it, you know, for the most part. So yeah, probably did. I probably just like was sitting at 4 a.m. <laughs> on my computer watching YouTube and just slowly just ate them one by one. I would do something like that. Water. My back and like my lower back are so sore. Ah. And so it's like, I would say my abdomen, like my quads and like my ribs hurt a lot. Like my stomach. I'm gonna take a shower. So I left in um, 
infusiums leave in it's like a hair treatment um the infusium comes with like a set of three and i just use like the third thing so it's like shampoo conditioner and the leave-in treatment so i use that sometimes and i just blow dry my hair and i used i think it's like just baby lotion by johnson and johnson's on my face I need to have like some kind of like acne medication that I can just like leave on, which I don't have. And it's actually really, really hard to get a get to. I think you actually have to go to a dermatologist for that. So I feel like the pains and stuff like on my abdomen, like my stomach, like even if it's gastrointestinal or if it's actually just um, a, a, just a, like a random stomach ache. Um, which I will get. I forget why. Um, it's because I'm anemic and sometimes I just have like um, stomach aches. I have constant just random stomach aches. Um, and then I have like pain in my ribs and stuff. So I had to take a couple of Tylenol for that. Um, and I was having like pain in my back too and like just all over. So I took Tylenol. I feel a lot better. I was going to make chicken. Anyways, everyone, I'm going to close the vlog. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys on the next vlog.